Cheers. Um, I was wondering, um, first of all, thank you so much for coming here today. We really do appreciate your time. Um, I really fancy Varro, and it got to me when he was killed. So I was to be all creepy. <laughs> I would love, we love Jai Courtney, who plays Varro. Uh, a great guy, a fantastic actor. I would love to do some kind of flashback at some point in the show to see him again, uh, because we just adore him. Oh, hi. Um, this is for Andy, first of all. You look good. <laughs> so. and you want to have dinner later? Welcome to American Television. So my question is, what um, difference do you see between starring in Australian film and TV and American TV? Uh, 2,000 people in a room, like cheering at you is kind of new. Uh, <laughs> I just think, you know, I, I'd sort of played around in Australian TV and I, I, there were certain things I'd been offered and turned down because I knew I wanted to be, if I wanted to work that hard, I wanted to play with you know, some big players and uh, and have some adventures along the way, so the quality of the stuff made for this country is mind-blowing. You know, it's a movie every week on Spartacus. So, uh, it's a very easy decision. <laughs> uh, I was here last year, and I was I asked about it, but to do so, would, would that be the most action and the DVD set? Um, that's a good question. Will the, the special features be uh, closed captioned? Uh, you know what? I'm still not sure. Uh, I'll have to ask somebody from STARS about that. I think it's a fantastic idea. Okay. STARS, if you're out there listening. <laughs> I'm from the Philippines and um, they just launched Spartacus. And my question is for Mr. Hanna and Mr. Denai. Um, what is it about Batiatus that makes you totally embrace him and, and love him despite his despicableness? And Mr. Denai, um, uh, what ingredients do you think uh, John brings to the character that, that makes him so you know, satisfying to watch? Well, Character-wise, everybody loves an underdog, and I think the great thing about John playing the character is that when you first, when he's first introduced, when you first meet him, uh, he doesn't look like the mustache-twirling villain. Uh, you really like him. Uh, it's hard not to like him. Uh, he, he just, he just s sucks you in, and here's a guy who's under pressure, just trying to get ahead in the world like everybody else, and then it just goes a little south. <laughs> You know, when the writing's this good, you just have to play the minute. You don't have to play the, the ultimate goal. You play the moment. You play the reality of that moment. And Lucy and I were deeply in love. As uh, as wrong as I am, quite a lot. Uh, and and that was uh, this was just what we did to try and get one. It's been a hard day's night. I've been working like a dog. <laughs> I just work to bring home money to buy you things. <laughs> My question is for John. Um, how did you transition from the mummy to Clark <laughs> how, how did you transition to that? Oh, how did I do it? Just the writing, Stephen and I, you just you get writing like that and you get the people around you, you know, you, you just, you do it, it's the writing, I mean I know it's like what we say all the time, but it's just good writing, it's great writing, you play that and, and uh, you know, Stephen knows where it was going, he knows what's going on and, and he's given us great material on a daily basis, as I've said, I think all of us have said how We'd be, we'd be doing an episode and like, you know, the actors who are, you know, maybe not in that scene sitting around reading the following episode were so buzzed about what was going on. Every single episode constantly surprised us and, uh, and kept us on our feet and kept us 
thrilled and excited to, to turn up and do it. It was just such a gift. You know, there's no cops, no doctors, no lawyers, no car chases. <laughs> Although Andy did think we could have a chariot race next day. <laughs> Hold on, Nick. Any chance of a chariot race in the, in the show's future? I'll have to call my producing partner, Rob Tapper, and see how he takes to that one. I'd love to see it. Maybe miniature. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, hi. Uh, Elliot Schuart with Comics Online. I remember uh, reading in uh, Men's Health before season one started about this This was like a, a make or break deal for Andy over here. I'm, I'm, Fortunately, glad to see that you you made it. So, and uh, but my question is, is for Stephen. Um, you did a lot of flashbacks in the first season with Sura's character. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, being heard that she died throughout the first season. Spoilers, sorry. Um, are we going to see of that with uh, John and Lucy's character about like what maybe feeds more of um, you know Sparks' story, a little bit of his history? Are we going to see more of them in, in the second season with that sort of thing, like the flashbacks? Uh, we probably won't rely quite so heavily on the flashbacks in season two, especially since we've got a, basically a six episode flashback before. Right. I, I think that'll probably t uh, take care of us there. But uh, uh, in future seasons, uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll have uh, flashbacks, and I'm, uh, I'm sure if, uh, if John's in the neighborhood, we'll, uh, uh, we'd love to have him back anytime. Excellent. Thank you. Andy, I think uh, I speak for everyone when I say that we're very happy to believe that you are a uh, big cancer survivor. This <laughs> uh, 35-year-old that was pretty inspired to get back in shape after watching you guys for a couple months. I was going to ask you personally if you could uh, tell us how much you, you got to your weight and then you sent body fat. <laughs> <laughs> Ten percent, nine percent, like that. Um, I guess I don't know what kilos is in pounds, but like eighty-five kilos, hundred ninety pounds. But uh, I'm gonna try and go a bit bigger this year. <laughs> um, hi, I'm a huge fan of the show, and uh, my question is for Andy. Um, so when episode six when you're holding your wife and she's dying in your hands. I've watched many TV shows throughout the years and pretty much when characters die, it's like, oh, that's kind of sad. You see like everyone else is sad about it, but I never really feel like the emotion of blow like I did in this. And it was only like six episodes into the show. So my question for you was, um, was there anything that like, inspired you for that performance? Because it was really like groundbreaking for me. Really talking about <laughs> No, it's not, it's not difficult to feel for the characters, you know, like the way they're set up and the way it's written. That you don't have to search too far to, you know, find those emotions. I mean, they're there in the world at any point when you need them. And uh, I guess trying to nail it on, the, on camera at the right moment when someone says actions are, you know, something to learn along the way. But I think you just tune into what's going on around you right now and what means you and what, what you connect to in that moment. Thank you. Well, I want to thank